One. Okay, I got the small airship powered up, and uh, I got to be careful to stay away from this section over here because that's the the uh, power supply that's at 120 volts. But uh, the other side, the ESP8266 side, is just at 5 volts and 3.3 volts, so it's not dangerous. So hopefully, I've got it showing the uh, the the wall behind the small airship, and what I'm going to do is uh, turn off and turn it back on to show you the setup routine that I've written. And so it just, it displays each column one at a time to kind of give you the idea of the sequence. And then it goes through and it's going to display, or it's going to shift out numbers from zero to 64. And I, I didn't go to zero to 63 because I wanted to see what happened. So, uh, there's still some mysteries of addressing these LEDs that I'd like to work out. And uh, maybe you can help me out. I'll I'll let this run, and then I'll type in some commands into the serial monitor. Uh, not commands. I mean, I'll just type in some characters, and that'll shift those characters out to the LEDs as well. So it's on 52... 55 so it's it's doing 55 eight times in a row and then it goes to 56 and does that eight times in a row and uh, net, now it just finished doing eight 64s in a row so what I can do to try to clear some of these pixels is type it tilde and that doesn't take away all of them it leaves the top and the bottom rows so I've done eight tildes there and I'm going to do eight spaces. There's the first space. That doesn't turn them all on either. It leaves one of the rows empty. And it's interesting. You don't have to do them one at a time. I could do, I could type eight tildes, then hit enter, and it takes them all away. Same thing with the spaces. So, yeah. Any help uh, with programming this would be much appreciated. Thanks for watching.